What are the LED indications? Working together, four Vermont schools hope to make history by sending the first CubeSat ever into lunar orbit. So this is the basic structure of the CubeSat. CubeSat is a uh, satellite that's developed according to a specification done about 10 years ago so that universities could launch satellites at relatively reasonable cost. We're just in the beginning of this process of being able to take satellites of this size and going beyond Earth orbit. It's very exciting um, because the, um, for this uh, small CubeSat, nobody has done this yet. So uh, Vermont will be leading in this area. This is the structure of the satellite, so the, these boards stack up as a connector in here. Vermont Tech is taking the lead on the Vermont Lunar CubeSat project, responsible for building the satellite itself. A little computer board in the bottom, and then various other boards, depending on what you're doing with your satellite, stacked up above. On uh, this end of the satellite, we'll have an antenna that will mount between these four legs. What has become a groundbreaking effort started off as a side project, a curiosity for Brandon. But I wondered whether it actually could work. So I did some rough calculations and it looked like it could. So then I did a detailed design and we made this rapid prototyping model. So this would be the lunar lander. And then I got a call from uh, Bill Lakin from Vermont Space Grant and said a new grant opportunity just came in. Carl mentioned to me that he had an idea that you could put a CubeSat on the moon. Now, this was kind of revolutionary because a CubeSat is a tiny little thing. It's uh, 10 centimeters cubed, not a lot of room. And conventional wisdom has always been that there was not enough space in there for propellant to do interplanetary missions. It was thought to be impossible, and Carl thought it could be done. But when I first got the lunar grant, it, it really did something, and I would, every time I'd be outside and see the moon, I'd just stare at the moon. I'd, it was just a whole different moon now that to think that something that I put together in my hands might be orbiting the moon at some point is just, you know, an incredible thing to think about. 